Wow. It's gonna be a short little video for y'all. Just little tips and tricks. For example, you're gonna take your part. This is a windshield trim, so you know it's roughly four feet long. Take your trim, set it out. Grab your piece of cardboard. Make sure your cardboard is longer than the item you want to ship. What I'll do is I set my cardboard down. Get a big enough shoot. Get a big enough piece that is gonna fit your items. For the most part, for this, I'm gonna have to uh, make a box, or wrap it with this cardboard, and then I'm gonna have to make some end caps because it's not quite long enough. But uh, I'll work with what I got. Let's see, I got my piece longer than my trim. It's not a big box, not a big piece of cardboard, but it's not a big item neither. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna score a couple lines to where you can get your folds. You wanna score three lines to have four parts. Take your straight edge of something and take your knife and cut through by halfway of the cardboard. You don't want to cut all the way through because you're going to cut the piece off. For example, y'all. I mean, this is what I'm going to use for what I got to ship. Straight edge. That one we're gonna have flip it over. And the post office don't care what your box looks like. As long as you cool with it, they gonna take your money. See how we got piece there? make two more to make this a complete box. Back on the side that I did the first scoring on. That's what you want to call this, scoring it. Y'all see any parts or think of any parts that y'all need, y'all know how to get a hold of me. If not, you can get a hold of LS Chevy Rider 254. He's on here. That's the same name on Instagram. And uh, Box Chevy Parts. Um, parts is spelled with a Z. He's also on here. And uh, that's his name also, I believe, on Instagram. Also, Eric Cox, he's on Instagram, or he's on uh, Facebook, or not Facebook, he's on YouTube, Eric Cox, and he also, uh, I haven't done any business with uh, him yet, but I also see he be in the junkyard getting parts for uh, himself, but if anybody needs some, he said, let him know what's up. 
So what we're gonna do is, you see we got two bins, we're gonna flip it back over to the side we were scoring on. You see I got one here, one here. We're gonna split this one in half and put one there. They be trying to check for boxes at yeah. uh, the first, the places. Like, man, this yeah. is cardboard. Like, people throw cardboard away all day. Like, yeah. see that, y'all? Um, like I said, it might not be a perfect box. Oh, well, here's a box type. Bam. Got to be taped up. I ain't got no duct tape. All I got is mat, or I ain't got no packing tape. All I got is masking tape right now but when I go to the post office they'll let me use uh, the priority tape for free but see what I'm gonna do like on this now I'm gonna put I'm gonna fold it but all the scores the, the folds that I made those are gonna be on the inside maybe I don't know how strong it's gonna want to be on the inside versus the outside Yeah, we're gonna put them on the inside, y'all. Show y'all this after the after effect of what I'm doing. Actually, to make it easier, y'all, I'm finna just keep the cuts on the outside because since I didn't go all the way through, you know what I mean? I still got half thickness of the cardboard holding it in on the edges, plus I'm gonna have tape all the way around it. About, I'm gonna wrap it in tape about three sections in the middle and two on the end when I get to the post office. Actually, since the trim all together is so thin, I'm finna just make this a triangle to where I got pieces overlapping and there's no holes showing in between it and whatnot. Man, y'all seen somewhere, my homie posted on Facebook, but makes perfect sense. He said, man, did y'all know it's illegal to possess your firearm if you're registered to have it. Basically, it's illegal to possess your firearm while you're high. So, well, you think about it when you fill out a, fire, a firearm application, it asks if you abuse marijuana. I don't think it says anything about narcotics or anything else. I think it just asks about marijuana. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Cause ain't nothing else federally illegal. I, I, I mean, I, weed is just legal to the feds. Mm -hmm. To the feds, pills ain't illegal if you got a prescription. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and doctors can't legally prescribe weed; they can just recommend it because yeah. it's not a prescription. Yeah, it's natural. You know what I mean? But anyway, y'all, y'all see? Yeah, so y'all see, I got it, it grows naturally around the world. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see, I got it wrapped up. You know what I mean? Do it three times. Um, I'll probably, I might do it here and on the edge again. I don't know. I might do, it don't matter. I got some cheap masking tape. Won't never buy it again. I use this for my shoes. If y'all into custom my shoes, check me out on Instagram. The Kids Custom Kicks. T H A K I D Z K U S T O M. K I X. Yeah, y'all get it in. But anyway, this tape trash. It's like four rolls for like. <laughs> I try to be cheap and mire. Not again. Anyway, you see, I got this windshield trim. It's, this is specifically off of a '78 Impala, and that's what Buddy working on. So I said, man, I know they all the same. They should be the same. They look the same. But I'm gonna send you the one off the Impala. I told them eighty dollars shipped and shoot. He was on it. Anyway, you see, something slim that'll fit into this. You just figure out how it's gonna go. Might have been best to wrap it up in there first, but it ain't got that much of a curve to it. I don't think so. We're gonna we're gonna get it in here. Just take your time, you don't want to bend it up. All right, y'all, might not have been the best way, but it ain't gonna be off like that. Uh, I mean, uh, I got it in here so far and I put it on the ground, start tapping on the bottom a little bit, start sliding. 
I wasn't tapping hard and I wasn't shoving it in therefore and I had them all taped up I don't feel like it bent if it did shoot I hope it didn't but I see it still got a nice curve in there yeah it looks like my box oh my stuff stop recording on me that's bogus anyway y'all I put the chrome in here as far as I could just pushing it in a little firm not too much I'm probably going to, actually I'm under this tape where I know it's not bending. I don't want to bend the, uh, I don't want to mess up the part that people buying off me. That'd be foul. <laughs> where they do that at? Not where I'm from. But, uh, yeah, you go. So we got it up in here. We're going to just, we're going to wrap it away that it'll sit comfortably. We're not having to worry about damaging the parts because y'all know a lot of the Chevy parts reproduce. And if they is, a lot of people don't like the fitment. For example, stay tuned for my bumper shock or my bumper uh, filler video about to come up this week. I think I was very detailed in it therefore try to give you everything I need to know about putting one in so yeah we got it wrapped loosely this time uh, I might not even wrap it tight y'all it's just a little overlap I'm gonna just do a little overlap where it's gonna be a little loose in this box and I'll shove some paper down in here and stop from moving. Like I said, I don't want to bend it. Anyway, I see I it definitely ain't as tight now as looser. Let's see if I can move it. If I can yeah, what's that? Off of somebody, so we're gonna just make sure. Got an idea, y'all. We might have to make it a box like the original idea. But right now I'm going to try to curl one of these edges. Kind of a box. Kind of ain't. As long as the trim can move. y'all came to a better conclusion I ain't finna waste this piece of cardboard I got a drip rail set I'm already sent to uh, this guy go to Louisiana uh, to tow buddy $40 ship since this is more flat except for these two tips down here I might pull these tips out if I can and uh Put them somewhere else in the box to where they ain't poking up to where I can make this box that triangle for sure. Had to delete a video out of my damn phone. I don't know how to get that off. I'm going nowhere. Um, see what's possible, you know. Damn box. Like I said, I don't care how this package looks, as long as it gets to where it needs to go. But I do want it to be. 
have safe travel. <laughs> It takes 350 for some tape at the post office if you want to you buy your own. I mean, but I seen a uh, LS Chevy Rider did uh, LS Chevy Rider LS uh, yeah LS Chevy Rider 254. That's my nigga. Weekend. Um. Anyway, bro went to the bro went to the post office. And they had a uh, they had the U.S. and the U.S. They had a priority shipping packaging tape in the uh, rolls or whatever, just posted up at the little stations you walk at or go to when you gotta fill something out at the post office. That shit was cool though. I mean, hell, on ours you gotta go ask people at the desk. Oh nine yards. That shit, I don't even know if they gotta let you use it. And then when it's there, or when I do use it, I go ham with it. So this is likely to have a lot. That's not going to taste. They're going to get wrong. Alright, yeah. And y'all now I gotta make these end caps. See what I can do. What I'm gonna do is I got another piece of cardboard down here. Set my item on top of that. Not directly in the middle, but you can see this. Make it to where about item by like this make sure you got about two inches on the sides really you only need that just make it about a half inch bigger on each side get your piece out Got your piece. That piece smaller than what I thought it was. What I'm gonna do is shoot full one quarter. I should have full all the corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the hole. Look at that. I'm gonna tighten that up. All I'm doing is stuffing this hole. I'm gonna fold this piece down. I didn't know it was that small in there, I didn't pay attention. Something like so. And like I said, when I get there, they're gonna have a wide Priority tape, so I'm on. I mean, run it across, run it across a couple times, and tape the ends up. Basically, it'd be something like this. Hit it with some shit like this. A couple more. Bam, bams. I mean, my one, me one this way. A couple this way. And then run another one back around the sides to hold them in there to where that's another cap, too. So, you know what I mean? When I take it in there, it's going to be just like this. 
Ain't no shame in my game. This box Chevy fam over here. <laughs> you heard? I mean, I ain't taxing. I don't feel. I mean, you might well find a better deal, but shoot. They might rip you off, too. There's a lot of fuckers out here. See that house? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece up. I'm gonna, damn near, I'm gonna cut out a piece. Shoot. A little bit bigger than that, so I can stuff it in there and try to make it flat. It's flat. Take your piece. I'll make it look bigger. There's a dog out there. Somebody walking up the street. Let's see what we're doing here. Smash it around a little bit. But shoot, I might try to make it flush and then take it off flush. Take on the back side. take the stuck better it'd, it'd be better I mean but roughly bam just about flush flush is I'm gonna get it shoot tape it up got that taped up the other side oh, I did yeah I mean technically to me I mean I think so I'm gonna give it a little more tape <coughs> And these loose spots. That's just for my preference. I know it ain't gonna open up, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> and this right here, I might go get pen and paper and uh, write down the address so I don't get this and the windshield trim mixed up. I ain't even about to. Uh, look up who they're going to um, stop my video and all that or whatever I paused it but yeah I know these go to Louisiana I wrote the state and what part it is on there. This is a drip wheel going to Louisiana. And I also got the rear marker lights. Those are going to Louisiana. I'm about to uh, go get them. I actually got a little box for those, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to put it in this box or if I'm going to put it in like a bubble wrap type envelope. That might be my option. And if I don't use that little bubble type envelope, then I'll put them in this box. But I'm trying to see, I'm trying to, uh, I like my packages to be <laughs> as light as, and as cheap as possible, especially when I'm paying the shipping. <laughs> Alright y'all. 
So what I'm going to do again is uh, turn my big piece of cardboard. But this time I'm going to use this piece since it's a little larger. Yeah, I'm going to do that. piece. I want to do this here. I'm going to divide this joint into thirds. Make my two lines. See what I can do. So I've got my mark. I'm going to grab my way. Something. Hmm. That's all I got handy. Piece of wood. Uh, you put it where the line is. Score line. Cash chill. Then I'm gonna make you shake. Cash chill. Do is I take the knife and I apply pressure to the piece of wood to where I try to keep a fairly straight line, I guess. Boys, box Chevy uh, riders, box Chevy drivers, riders, cruisers, rollers, builders, painters, a lot of box Chevy people spreading a bad name for the uh, real ones on Facebook, selling, uh, trying to scam niggas on parts and shit. Making it bad for us, the real ones. Who legit with it. I don't know why mugs would be scamming people and trying to get over on niggas, and I never realized it. Like, yeah. You don't never, that shit. I mean, you don't finish doing that shit. You're a loser. Got my windshield trim, y'all. This is the one going to Texas. Now right, we got a big triangle now, fellas, people. Put my hands in there. Uh, but that's cool. So what I'm going to do is, shoot. I got it. I ain't going to finish the trip on it. You know what I'm going to do. Wrap it up. Safe sex. 
<laughs> nah. Hey man, what you gonna do? You gonna just take it? I mean, like, throw this. Wrap it a couple times. There. Middle. What I'm gonna do since this trim is a little loose in here, I'm gonna give me some stuff to put on both ends to hold it in place. This one I'll actually only wrap this one about three times, at least for now. And uh, I'll probably do two more when I get to there. So I'll probably put I'll probably put four when I get to the post office. But now I'm gonna take this paper I got. Old packing paper from when I ordered my lift kit. Taking a lift kit. That's the damn. That's my rear cups. I didn't use because I got air shocks. But, uh, and then we're gonna shove it in there. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. So on the other end, well, yeah, I'll pull this part of this paper back out. I got the trim as long. Where put it in there a certain way. Put it in there on top of that piece. See where it's at. That close. Make an album. Put it in there on the top. Other stuff where when it's taped, it's butter. Hold on. I only got like four minutes of record time left unless I go back and erase another video. So, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna make your pieces. It's gonna fit inside of here on both ends, the triangle. I still got this little piece over here. I'm gonna get them about it real quick. Get a little rough trace real quick, cut them out. Well, I'm using just a regular box cutter, y'all. Yeah. You don't wanna go all the way through it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down to the first notch and uh, make sure that cuts all the way through. Not all the way through, but make sure that tip goes in all the way because it's not gonna penetrate all that I'm just not gonna press hard I'm just gonna you know actually I'm tripping I don't know why you wouldn't want to go all the way through because these are for the end caps sure. so, uh, yeah make sure y'all cut that all the way out make sure you're careful don't cut off your finger. Uh, I know losing a finger would suck, but shit. Losing one that you cut off yourself. They say, uh. Damn, what was it? They said the worst time to fuck up is when you're doing somebody a favor or something like that. Or when you're being nice to somebody. I don't know. Or it hit you the most, like, damn, I was trying to look out for you, motherfucker, and you robbed me, or I was trying to look out for you, and you fucked me over. So that's the worst time to, I forget what it went, how it went, but anyway, y'all see, I just put the piece of cardboard up in there this time, and I'm going to just uh, firmly tape these edges, or this corner, to where it holds it in there with a little pressure.
don't even hold it in there good enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some tape across the outer. Where it gives it a border, I guess you could call it. Makes it bigger than the hole. Like so. Now you take it, slide it in. But you don't go all the way in with it, you just take the tape. Run it across the sides. And if you got good tape, it'll hold. Take you some tape on the outside. Bam, bam. Like I said, when you get to the post office, you take you some packing tape. When you about two this way, two this way, two this way and take some tape and wrap it around that way. It don't matter what it looks like as long as you get there safe. Open up the hole, set your cap in there, and put it right on the edge uh, if you can. You might not be able to. If you can't, Make your border with tape again. That's what I'm about to do. Once again, if you had good tape, you wouldn't have to worry about it sliding off as easy. You would not lift up your package, slide your. Okay, go. And I did the wrong side. Slide your border or your cap piece in. I think I did it the wrong way, y'all. Uh, <laughs> now, once again, see how it fits. Take your tape. Put it on the outside. Don't let the tape. Or don't you don't want your piece to slide in because it ain't gonna be act as a cap. Or at least, I mean, you want it to be flush down there with the tip of the box. Like so, I mean, for the most part. I'm like, damn, I use, I put, I put four pounds of tape in shipping. Nah. But I do make sure it's taped up well. Two. Let's see, this one's going to Texas. Windshield trim. Seventy-eight power. Seventy-eight coup. All right, y'all. So. These I'm finna just go ahead, these rear marker lights I'm finna just see if I can put in a, uh, at most priority um, bubble wrap shipper thing, but I'm gonna probably just throw them in a little envelope or something, figure something out that way, uh, cause this box is just too big for them little ass parts, y'all. Yeah. Um, so if y'all, y'all know this your boy Ox City 360, if y'all looking for any parts, y'all can hit me up on here, y'all can hit me up on uh, Instagram at Ox City 360 same as on here uh, it might not be no underscore but I'm in the picture going with uh see I got parts uh, my boy LS Chevy Rider 254 got parts uh, I think Eric Cox will get you some parts if you need some uh, Cat Loco just picked up some uh, rear third brake lights 
if JP still got his, we got five. I can't say we, because, I mean, ain't none of us. I got a couple for sale. I think Cat might have a couple for sale. I'm not for sure. And I think JP at least got one left for sale, but don't quote me. Um, JP is Goldie Box. Uh, who else got parts? Team Schaefer got some parts uh, for the Chevys, front and rear. Uh, I don't know what he got. He, I think he got several parts though, low key. So uh, who else got parts? Parts, parts, parts? I don't know anybody else got parts. So it's me, LS Chevrolet two five four, Team Schaefer, Eric Cox, uh, Goldie Box might have a third brake light. I don't know if he got anything else he trying to let go of. Um, Cat Loco. I don't even know if he for sure got anything to let go, but he might have something to let go. Um, I think Classic Ride Society. I don't know if he sells parts for sure, but he comes across a lot of Chevys out there in Texas, man. LS Dads do too. But uh, yeah, if y'all need anything, shit, that's at least a handful I can think of on top of my head. Nope. Uh, Box Chevy Parts. He's on YouTube now. Uh, parts with a Z. He also on Instagram, I think, under the same name. So, yeah, y'all need any parts, man? Uh, that's all I can think of offhand. That's on YouTube. Uh, a couple of us on Instagram. Cat Luck on Instagram, too. Uh, Cat Luck's Garage. But, yeah, y'all, finna take this trip. And see, we on the road. Didn't get my exhaust leak fixed. That's what these parts, uh, parts that I'm selling, that's the shit that is going towards. We gotta get this exhaust leak fixed. Well, I already got the parts, really. I just need to, uh, I just gotta do it. What I need to buy is, um, some head gaskets. I'm gonna replace my head gaskets. Maybe the bolts, I don't know. I'm supposed to or whatever they recommend it. That damn tape loose already, but... Let's see, I got the two, two packages back there. Got the rear marker light. Uh -oh. Ready. Make my way to this post office. Oh, well, some of that, a lot of that masking tape coming off anyway, so. Yeah. Boyak City 360. Gonna leave y'all on a positive note. Mm. Damn, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, the difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. One.